Hello and welcome to another holiday cube here. Uh, out of this pack, I think I like Guild Lotus the most. If I want to do something broken, I like Sword of War and Peace. If I want to be some kind of an aggression deck, and I like Elendra. If I want to be, uh, you know, controlish. Dismember is good, Toxic Luge is good, and I think all of these cards are pretty good, but I'm gonna go for the Guild Plot just because it opens up more broken things. Um, if I go into a fair deck, I have more replaceability within my cards, while if I go broken, uh, Guild Plot is just a nuts. We get past the Reanimate, which is pretty good, and the Sundering Titan. Um, I'm not a big fan of forcing Reanimation. I think Sundering Titan is just all run stronger. If you can pick up a Tinker, I'll play it. Uh, I'm just gonna try to go Broken Artifacts here, uh, if possible. Uh, here I'll go Kozilek over Elspeth. Uh, hmm, maybe I'll go to Power Stone. Kozilek should wheel. Uh, just go Mana Acceleration ramp into big things. Let's try it out. So we'll pick up, I think, about every big spell that's really a blowout and a lot of mana cards or that's the plan here um, might turn out to be a disaster you never know um, even if it does I mean it's an experiment and I think it's worth it uh, let's say if you have like five or six big things and then you can pick up something like a show and tell or um, a tool nail Eureka maybe, but I'm not a big fan of Eureka just because it dumps uh, your entire hand for everyone and well, <laughs> the card usually makes you lose in something like cube because your opponent on taps with his creatures and his extra stuff first unless you have something like a time time walk to follow it up, I wouldn't play it uh, someone to my right is either playing really slow or not connected uh, according to the log on the right, everyone's connected, so it shouldn't be that. Is everyone connected? Yeah, it seems to be. Um, so you might just, you know, have a hard decision, be recording himself. You can't force people to play faster here. Interesting. Uh, Angel of Serenity is a really strong card. It brings back creatures again. Uh, Cryptic Commando is just so powerful, I think I'll pick it up. You know, it doesn't really matter which colors I am in in this, so um, if you want to go broken, just go broken enough. So just pick the best card every single time and make your mana base work. Um, might have been that something like the Flooded Strand would have been better, like I'll have to pick up some kind of mana fix I guess eventually. Uh, but I actually would like to be, you know, as little colors as possible just because of Sundering Titan. Because usually your opponent only has like two colors, maybe three colors. Uh, and then you're just wrecking your own mana base. Of course you have a 7 10 in play. Uh, but is that good enough? I don't know. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation is actually pretty good with this at this point. Uh, because you have, you know, mana acceleration. So we'll pick it up here. Wouldn't mind seeing the Pristine Talisman, the Azorius, the Forceville, the Erdling, stuff like that. Um, but I'm gonna pick up a Sphinxus here. The card is pretty unique. Um, in what it does, I don't think uh, Blue Sun Zenith is even in the cube anymore just because of Sphinxes. It used to be, but I think as soon as Sphinxes got reprinted, uh, got printed, it's not reprinted, of course, it's just printed, uh, Blue Sun Zenith gets instantly replaced by it. So only five picks in, but our deck is already um, going in a certain line and having a certain, you know, ID behind it. And this is like what the eleventh holiday cube or the eleventh, yeah, I think the eleventh uh, holiday cube. I'm not sure. Uh, trying to get as many in as I can before you know um, it gets taken offline again. I have no clue why Wizards does that. I have. Pretty good curve there, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7. Um, out of this, I think I want the Tundra. I mean, Compulsive Research is good as well. Uh, but it makes us discard lands. Tundra is a fix. Uh, it'll allow us to splash things. Uh, like, maybe we just splash white, um, and then Tundra is better. There's also Flood Strand in there. Uh, Terminus is fine, but it's an effect that's easily more replaceable. I think Dual Lands is just uh, better to have. And I'm a big fan of Dual Lands in general. Um, I think it's, yeah. I like these cards. I, 
I've said this before, but I still think it should should have been reprinted at one point. Um, the entry cost to Legacy for people at this point is just way too high. Um, here I'm gonna pick up the Signet, or maybe the Intel Royal. Hmm. Interesting. Like, Vincer doesn't do a lot for me, except, you know, Sundering Titan. Um, imagine that with Sundering Titan, it's just gonna wreck face, but uh, without outside of Sundering Titan, just not that good. Well, maybe Pucker Side as well, it gives it a 4 4. Hmm. And it is a Vincer. But nah, I think f as far as Planeswalkers go, this effect isn't that great. So it's either into the roll or Signet. Um, let's go for into the roll. I mean, we can probably pick up a Signet somewhere else along the way. Uh, here we have Grand Arbiter, which I think is fine. Uh, it allows us to be cheaper on the rest. Uh, Lawson Golem is also pretty good though. It's a 5 3 for 4 compared to 2 3. Well, let's go for the Grand Arbiter. It's in our colors. Uh, it seems to be fine. Uh, here we'll probably pick up Shardless Agent. What are we really into? Not that much at this point. Old Man of the Sea actually fits our colors as well. Academy Ruins is fine, but not the nuts. Uh, we didn't pick up the previous fix for that, so yeah, I think I'll go with the Old Man of the Sea over the Shardless and just, you know, stay these colors at this point. Uh, basically, ba base blue with a splash to white. Uh, still looking for you know more artifacts, uh, acceleration, more late game, uh, but it just hasn't been coming to us. I don't think Cosmic Wield, no, it didn't. Um, so that's not good. Uh, the fact that someone else either has the same tactic as me or is picking up our brick things. Uh, hopefully not like at the opposite of the table. Uh, it's a virtual table, but it's still a table. You're still in a circle, so. Uh, Parallax Wave is a pretty good one. Actually, all three of these are, are decent cards. Um, I think the Chancery is just better. Like, Parallax Wave is a pretty good card, but uh, the effect is uh, fading. Like, it's, uh, it just ends at a certain point, and then you're facing a board that's really hard to deal with for most people. Uh, so Avalanche R Riders was last card we got. Uh, we open up a Barrow Skull, which is really good in a kind of deck like this, as is Counter Spell, of course. Palancron is actually also good uh, if I get more stuff like this, but I uh, doubt it'll happen. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up the Barrow Skull because you know it's artifact themed, it's really good. Uh, maybe Tesseret will wheel, and then um, our artifact team, uh, if it has been built out, will pick this up and hope to splash it. Uh, but for now, we'll play the Barrow Skull. Because, you know, 5-mana uh, four, 4 Vigilance Lifelink is actually good on its own. And then the fact that it's uh, equipment that you can fetch with uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Like, when this card was originally printed, I'm like, how the hell can you print this? Like, a 5-mana four, 4 Vigilance Lifelink is usually... W whoa. Yeah, that's a standard pick there. Uh, so we'll pick up a card here. I mean, I'm not even going to discuss that. Um, but I mean, just the card and so on was good enough. The fact that you can re-equip it on something else because it's an equipment makes it that much better. And the fact that you can return it to your hand to replay it uh, because it's a living weapon? Holy shit, man. I mean, this card was printed as a nuts card. And then they knew about Stoneforge music. They knew about the interaction between it. Um, Okay, so here we have a collision relic, but I mean, we can't pass up a Mox. A Mox is so such good acceleration, we have to pick it up here. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't mind seeing the collision relic wheel. Uh, Dungeon Geist is fine. Volcanic Island I'll pick up. Revoker I'll pick up. Uh, Mother of Runes I'll probably play, but I uh, can't pass up a Mox. Uh, Moxes are just too good. Uh, here we'll probably pick up the Ors of Signet. It's better than Scroll Rack because uh, you have little to none shuffle effect in, in these kind of decks. Uh, Ors of Signet uh, allows me to splash with Deseret um, if it wheels. Uh, it's also good for my white splash. So yeah, um, easy pick up there. And it's turned out to be a pretty good deck at this point. Still want some better late game here, more blowout cards. Um, something like Upheaval would be really good. Uh, Crucible just doesn't do it for me. Geist might do it though. Um, Geist or Preordain, I'm not sure. I think we want cards like Geist in our deck. Just single beaters that are really strong. 
can win the game on their own. Uh, yeah, let's pick up a Geist over an underground river. Um, here we'll pick up a Godless Shrine, even though I wouldn't mind Limphalas, but when Tezzeret wheels, or if Tezzeret wheels, I'll, I'll easily be glad that I picked up the Godless. Uh, a Dimmer Signet, another uh, acceleration that allows my Black Splash, if I want to do that. Uh, so we'll pick up that. And so far we have, what, um, 18 cards minus 4, so 14 cards, we're still uh, looking for 9 cards to play. Uh, which you can see here, and a Sphinx is definitely one I want. Uh, so now I'm really glad I have uh, these two and this one. A uh, bit disappointed that I didn't pick up the previous uh, fixer in black, but I mean, it's fine. I think the card I picked over it, uh, which was Geist, right? Uh, is good enough on its own to warrant that pick. Uh, but Sphinx, and Sphinx, like if you could drop it against most control decks, it just. Uh, like they're blowout cards, they're, they're cards that you play and just win the game on their own if, if uh, your opponents can't deal with it. So Tezzeret did well, let's look at this. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 artifacts at this point, 9 even. Uh, I think that's worth it to pick something up like this. Uh, we have plenty of fix to go for it. Um, and it just makes 5-5s, five you know. Uh, I think it's better than these two. Um, I don't even know what this does. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so Tezzeret, easy pick up there. Uh, I think I pick up Serendip Efrit here, just uh, to be somewhat possible to be aggressive. Uh, Nazumu Grave Robber is also a really good card, but no, it's uh, in our splash. Uh, Dungeon Guys is obviously something I, l I wouldn't mind playing either. Uh, a 3 3 flyer for 4 is fine, and the ability just removes the creature of the opponent from the game. Uh, Max Ruby will be considered as a colorless land, but I mean. Uh, mox is a mox. It, there's a reason why it's banned in Legacy um, and restricted in Vintage, of course, because holy shit, if that was not restricted. Uh, Agni Warp, uh, Coral Pickup, I mean, it's really good to removal. Uh, so, yeah, our deck is shaping up here. We probably. Oh, wow. Underground River. Easy pickup here. Um, didn't expect it to wheel, but it did. Seems like blue and black, or at least that color combination is. Definitely open. Um, that sounded a little bit like shoutcasting, didn't it? Like, it looks like that is definitely open. And I have done shoutcasting in the past. I have, um, like, for those that are familiar with League of Legends, uh, I have shoutcasted uh, games of TSM, um, stuff like that. I mean, I do enjoy doing that. What do I do here? Uh, bloody thing. But I'm more of a color commentator, not a action commentator. Like. Usually when you commentate you have two persons, you have the action commentator who does the fights, that's really fast, stuff like that. And you have the color commentator just in between, starts t talking about whatever shit he wants. Um, I think I'll pick up a Mana Vault over these, I uh, hope one of these two wheels, uh, top probably won't wheel, uh, but Mana Vault is just broken, like turn one Mana Vault, Mox, or turn one Mana Vault into whatever or eventually turn to Gilded Lotus. Come on, man. This card is sick, and the fact that it does one damage to you every single turn doesn't really matter. Uh, Enlightened Tutor, obviously, wouldn't mind seeing that wheel either. So you have one, two, three decent options, four even if you want this. Um, so yeah, plenty of options for that wheel. We get the option between a Mox Pearl and a Time Walk or a Mana Crypt. This pack is loaded with shit. Um, I think I want the Mana Crypt over the Time Walk. Eh. <sighs> so this won't wheel, will it? No, I mean, none of these will wheel. Um, it's definitely Mana Crypt over the Mox. I mean, that's obvious. Uh, the question is, is it Time Walk over anything else? I think it is. I mean, Time Walk, the effect is just so unique, so broken. Um, it's pretty sad that those <laughs> were in the same pack. Like, what else was in that pack that that guy picked over? Like, Ancestral Recall? Like, what else would he pick over those cards? I have no clue. Um, do I want a Trinket Mage here? Or a Shrine? Uh, Trinket Mage is fine. I have nothing super to get with it, but it's still a fine card. Uh, Tamiyo is something I'll play and I'll definitely uh, slam here. Uh, so we're actually 
at 23 cards right now. Um, not gonna play 18 lands or anything because you know uh, plenty of stuff there. Um, Inquil of Vitan or Maloku. I think Inquil of Vitan is really good because uh, it's an artifact. I can get it with uh, Tesseret. It's a really good late game card. So yeah, we'll play that. Uh, the problem then is that we have one card too many, which will probably be either Trinket Mage or Old Man of the Sea that's gonna go. Uh, maybe Agony Warp, I'm not sure. Doesn't matter at this point yet. Uh, is it Signet? Mm, Bellow Worker doesn't seem bad, does it? Neither does Mindstone. I mean, Mindstone is just a strong card. Two mana. How many artifacts do I play? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's not enough. Um, so I'm gonna go with the Mindstone. I think the Mindstone is better than Signet here. Uh, Winter Up, obviously, nothing. Well, maybe I would, but uh, I think Rifting Class Kid is just better. Wall of Omens is a decent card, uh, as is Ultimate Prize. Do I want Ultimate Prize or Disenchant? Uh, probably on Ultimate Prize. I mean, and removal is removal. Um, I like Enlightened Tutor, but I have to go for the Fix here. I enjoy Fix way too much, and I'm gonna go for the Hell Fountain. I mean, I have way too many cards in my deck already, anyway. Um, Wake Treasure, I mean just not that good is it? No it isn't. Uh, but I'll pick it up I mean it's not a bad card in general. Probably cut the Grand Arbiter there. We have six cards here so we're three too many at this point. Uh, probably play Ultimate Prize over Agony Warp. Might not. Well, I do want artifacts did not I? So if I cut things it has to be uh, non-artifact cards. Uh, Shrine Wield I'll might play it. I might sideboard in against some decks. Uh, we'll see. But I mean, the deck is looking pretty sick. It, it doesn't it? Wow, we get a Talarian Academy instantly. Gonna play that. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven early artifacts. Then one, two, three, four, five, six late game. So we already have 13 artifacts with Desert. That usually means that it, the, his ability will hit. Talarian Ac Academy is gonna give me a bunch of mana. Or hopefully gives me a bunch of mana. Uh, it's pretty bad in my opening hand, I guess. But I mean, I have five two drops and two earlier drops. Um, Steam Augury is uh, prophetic bolt is a stronger card, so let's hate that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we have two, three strong planeswalkers, even three good late game creatures, and a really good late game card in general. Uh, we have plenty of mana exhaustion, a broken card in time walk. Um, might not play the guys then. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's still one card too much. And Metal Worker even wheels. I think Metal Worker might be worth it now. Earthquake obviously isn't. They'll want a Cryptic Command. Yeah, I probably want a Cryptic Command. Like, I'll probably play Cryptic Command over into the roll, something like this. Because um, the card is more versatile. So, uh, Mux is, you know, um, a land. So, um, let's just see what we can play. Ultimate Prize. Well, we can play Blood Gift even, I mean. Should be in the list when I try it. And the same with Karn, of course. I find that it'll be annoying that it's listed uh, under the colorless. Wow, uh, <laughs> that's really annoying. Uh, it doesn't really matter because I mean I'm gonna play the that high end here anyway. So let's put creatures at the bottom because um, and this is not something I'll ever play. Let's put creatures at the bottom just because there are so few of them. Metal worker, yeah. Oh, it's actually a bit more than I expected. Bear skull should be considered a creature. So as you can see, there's way too many on two, I guess. Um, so I need to go to 24 cards. Uh, as I said, I probably won't play guys nor Old Man of the Sea main deck. Uh, really good cards against aggro, but I can start about those in. Uh, Grand Arbiter Agassin seems uh, 
bit unnecessary with the amount of mana acceleration I have. One, two, three, four, five, um, six if I play this. Uh, how many artifacts do I play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine if you count so ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, hmm. I need to cut five cards though. Uh, probably Blood Gift Demon. Wake Treasure. Agony Warp. Shrine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I always think this is an artifact. Thirteen is still fine. Um, do I want a Metal Worker in though? It's really good to accelerate me into things. Uh, this is, by the way, a 2 drop. It's really, really good to accelerate me into things. Drinket Mage has two targets, so that's enough. Um, so I'll cut into the roll. Like that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want more artifacts because of Tolarian. So I'll keep him Metal Worker as well. Now about the mana base. Wow. So we splash three black cards. We have one, two, three, four fix already for it. Five if you can't Gilded Lotus. I don't see a need to play anything extra from land perspective. Uh, we have one, two, three fix in our main colors as well. We're base, um, blue basically, so when it suggests it should, yeah. I'll probably up the island and add an extra plane. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, there should be a signal. Seven white sources for one, two cards. Wow, there's actually more white sources than black. Uh, more uh, black cards than, than white here. That's awesome. <laughs> Didn't even realize that. So uh, we're actually blue with it, blue black with a splash to white, and or we're basically blue base, I guess, with uh, double splash. Uh, I'll just you know do it like this then. Have one of each. I mean, if I'm gonna run a plane, I have to run a swamp as well. Yeah, okay. And we'll submit here, and I'll see you guys for the very first round.